Hiya, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today we are on a silhouette seminar day and today we are going to be taking a look at alignment so that is um, different ways to get things to kind of literally align up so you might have two items and you want to make sure that they are both over to the left or the one is centre to the other all sorts of different things so it's surprising just how many different elements to that particular little button that we can do so the first thing is that we want to open the alignment window and it's this little one up here and so what we've got is several different options we've got align and then I'll go through what all of these mean we've got align horizontally align vertically spacing center to page yes the first thing we ought to do is get something on the page to work with so let's just get a shape oh my we have got a number there so okay let's so get rid of a couple of those Now we're going to need some of these a bit later. Okay, so we're just going to shove that like that. I'm going to leave that off the page. I'm hoping that it's not going to take any notice of that because it's off the mat. And then we're going to go back to our alignment window, which for some reason had disappeared. So the first thing is just one item. And then we want to actually say, for whatever reason, um, you need it absolutely centered on your page. And then in this case, we want to make this item in the center of our mat. So here we have centered to page. So we click on that and look over it goes and it pops it straight into the center of the page. So that's really simple for any reason that you need it absolutely perfectly centered whatever it is then you could do that and for example if we just move that smaller that would obviously make that off center so we would then center again and boom there it goes again okay so that's center to page so we're going to highlight both of them i'm just using my shift key and i'm clicking on both items and highlighting them and this time i want to center this smaller item within the center of the bigger item so here we click we've got a line and we've got center and bang it centers the two together so now we've got a line horizontally so this is if you want to align things this way across ways so you don't particularly the height you you've got sorted but so i want it to be at that height i want it that difference like that but i don't want it to be over like that i want it say to be aligned centrally so i want this one to be at this height but i want it to be central into let's make this really much a little bit smaller i want this one here to be in the center but at this level with this box here so we click on both you always have to click on both otherwise it doesn't work and then in this case I say we're going to use central so we're looking at a line horizontally and then we click on a line center so as you can see it's kept the level of both of our piece um squares here but it's just move that so this little one is perfectly central from left to right it's not bothered with it top to bottom okay and you can do the same with it aligned to the left so now um it is perfectly aligned to the left hand side and you can do exactly the same on the right hand side as well now these are really helpful things to do i use this is one of probably my most used tools okay so now we're going to look at a line vertically now a line vertically is pretty much the same as a line horizontally only we're going top to bottom instead of left to right so in this case we're happy with it being to the um left here well let's move it over just a tiny bit so we're happy with it being kind of off just a little bit like that but we want it to be a line top so now it is completely aligned it at the top here and 
but it's left it exactly in that position that we had it for the sides so you can get it I mean obviously it doesn't have to just be squares it could be all sorts of things I've used it for so many different things that it's so useful so then we've done a line top so again just clicking on both we're going to do a line bottom so we've got exactly the same it's taken it down to the bottom and then of course we've got a line center okay so now what we've got is three objects because for this we need to have at least three items and basically what it's doing is just taking the three items and in a way it's the same as alignment but it's just because it's multiple items it's going to space those multiple items so it's a minimum of three you can do more than three and it's going to space them equally bet between each other so between a b and c there will be equal distance whether you whether that be horizontally or vertically depending on which one you pick so we're going to click on them all here and then we're going to click on space horizontally can you see how the middle one has moved over so now what's happened is this space there's this middle one is got equal distance between the two outside ones so you can see here the gap here is the same as the gap here now I'm not quite sure to be honest I've never used this this is not something I've particularly ever found that I've needed but it's always helpful to know if you have multiple items that you can do that and obviously the same but in rever in kind of in the opposite is vertically and as you can see here now we've got that gap there and that gap there means that these are all three are spaced equally between each other okay so that is alignment and i think that's pretty cool so i hope you have enjoyed and found useful taking a look at alignment with me on our silhouette seminar for this month and i look forward to seeing you again next month bye for now <music>